What you will learn today will add so much value to your designs and you're going to find the knowledge super useful. Typography goes way, way beyond just looking good on a page. And trust me, you will understand exactly why after finishing the entirety of today's video. And sponsoring today's video is an absolute must for graphic designers. It's where you can download over 55 million resources in Vato Elements. Learn more about that later in today's video. See what you think about this quote from Bruno Mag, the founder of the Dalton Mag Font Foundry. People respond almost uniformly to typeface and product combinations, and mostly use similar adjectives to describe what they felt about the different fonts they were asked to comment on. It has been researched time and time again, and it's a science of psychology. We are all human, and so we respond in similar ways to the style of typeface. Great, but I know you want to see some examples and then go deeper into this topic. So let's start with the banking sector. A lot of traditional banks use serif fonts in their branding, and that's because by nature, serif fonts express being superior, authoritarian, and importantly, evoke trust. However, the public sentiment has started to change. In this day and age, consumers want more of a connection with their bank, and banks want to appear more friendly and approachable. Over the past couple of decades, we have seen names like Citibank, Deutsche Bank and Raiffeisen Bank shine through with their lowercase clean sans serif fonts. Lowercase sans serif fonts are far more friendly and far more approachable than uppercase serif solutions. You can see this even in the decentralized finance sector, which is paving the way for the future of finance. I mean, just look at crypto.com and their logo in entirely lowercase letter forms. And then the Ledger Nano being in title case. These typography choices are not a fluke. They are not a quick thought. Instead, they are a clever way to tap into the minds of you, the consumer, that they hope to attract. You may be asking yourself if this even matters or not. Well, let's test this one out. British Airways is one of the most recognizable airlines out there. Their logo type uses uppercase serif fonts because it evokes a sense of tradition, trust, quality, and a robust strength. But let's swap their logo type with a more low budget airline, EasyJet. The entire brand message of British Airways has now been stripped away completely and we're left with a totally different message being sent out. And that's simply just by changing the font. The new font is more fun, personal, friendly, and some might even say cheap. But this is how EasyJet find their niche into the market, but it's not what British Airways is all about. But remember quickly, if you're finding this content useful, give that like button a click to tell me and the algorithm exactly that. But wait a moment, fonts and typography are not just a way to evoke emotion and communicate a message. No, no, no. They also can help identify brands. With a recognizable font, the shape and the style of the lettering should stand out in the consumer's mind. And this is vital for brand awareness. You can even test this one out yourself with a game where you have to guess a brand simply by seeing part of their logo type. Some of the questions ask about the logo symbol, but a lot of the logos are typographic. You will be surprised at how much the style of typeface is hardwired into your brain. Now, if you've gotten this far in the video, kudos. You've quite possibly reached the best part. It's a quick cheat sheet on what the five different fonts might suggest. Sans serif fonts such as Helvetica and Elrond don't have decorative lines. They're seen as being clean, modern, objective, and stable. Serif fonts such as Times New Roman or Crimson suggest tradition, authority, reliability, quality, and respectability. Lots of abilities. Slab serif fonts such as Alio or Rockwell can appear bold, strong, or even expressive for a business. They often can also come across as intellectual as well. Modern fonts such as Futurette or Eurostyle are chic, they're stylish, and they're used to portray a sense of progressiveness and intelligence. But here's the key takeaway, ladies and gentlemen. Typography should be considered just as important as color and shape. If it's on a logo, a social media marketing, a poster, whatever it is, the same rules apply. It's critical to remember that fonts can emphasize the message of a brand that they want to convey, and they're vital for a brand's identity demonstrating that deciding on the right font 
is just as important as the word itself. So yeah, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Envato Elements. This is a great one-stop shop subscription service that I use personally on a daily basis. Now, as you can see here, they've added over 94,000 new assets this week alone. And there are over a quarter of a million motion graphics downloads. You can find a wide range of categories to look over, such as video, imagery, templates, and even fonts, as you can see here. And let me tell you, the font selection on Envato Elements is vast and awesome. But yeah, you can also find things like website design templates and app design templates too. And you're never going to run into trouble either because you own the rights to each download due to having a license when signing up for a paid subscription. And it works out to be less than $20 a month for the annual plan. And when you consider how useful this website is and how many downloads there are, it does work out to be really cost effective. And yeah, you can check out Envato Elements linked down in the description box below. And of course, if you want to learn more about graphic design, fonts, logos, whatever, do click a video on screen. And until next time, guys, does on your future today. Peace.